Hello gorgeous soul. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Chandy and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use just three stitches to knit a gorgeous star inspired shawl. <laughs> design at expressionfiberarts.com and crocheters we have great news for you too there is a version of this shawl called Doradus, which we introduced a few months ago and we had so many requests to please do a knit version so here you go yeah yeah the links to both patterns will be in the description for you. And while you are on the website, go ahead and sign up for email updates because we give most of our new patterns away for free. So you will want to be sure to get those. This gorgeous design was created for you by Janica Carter and it was inspired by the astronomer Abbe Nicolas Louis de la Calle. Nicolas Louis de la Calle who lived in the 1700s and named several of the constellations. I chose this color palette because it reminds me of those cool frosty mornings where you wake up and you can still see the stars in the sky, but the sun is starting to rise and glimmer through the trees and splash pink across the clouds. This wrap pattern is designed for the adventurous beginner knitter. It uses just three basic stitches. If you can knit, do a yarn over and slip, you are golden. So it's got this beautiful background which is created with just knit stitches. And then we use yarn overs to create the look of these beautiful glimmering stars stars in the sky. If you like, you can even double the width of this and you'll have a blanket. It would be perfect for a baby blanket or even a lap throw. Or if you need a scarf, you can just do half the width and you'd be golden. I love this because it's draping and flowing and really soft, but since it's DK weight, it will work up really quickly for you. To make this shawl, you're going to need four colors of DK weight yarn. We opted to use our Sparkle DK yarn, which is soft and fun and really versatile and great for sweaters, blankets, accessories, all kinds of projects. It has a gorgeous soft silver sparkle running throughout it too, which makes it just perfect for a star inspired shawl. You're also gonna need a US size seven needle, but the specifics on that and all the other details for this pattern are included in the PDF on the website. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a miniature version so you can see how easy it is to knit this pattern. You'll get an idea of the stitches. And what I'm basically doing is working the center of one of the stars. So let's go ahead and get started on today's quick tutorial. For the first row of my demonstration, I'm gonna start by slipping one and you're gonna do your slips purlwise. So the tips are pointing. And then I'm gonna knit three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna create some eyelets for the little twinkling stars. I'm gonna work a yarn over and then a slip knit pass. So I'm gonna slip as if to knit. So like this now, slip, then knit the next stitch and then pass that slipped stitch over the knitted stitch. So just pick it up with your left needle and you slide it off your right needle. Then knit one. And I'm gonna repeat that two more times. Yarn over, slip knit pass, slip, knit, pass that slip stitch over, and then knit one. Let's do it one more time, yarn over, slip, knit, pass, knit one, and then just to finish off that row, an easy knit four. Now moving into the next rows, for three rows, it's going to be super simple. I'm just going to slip one as if to purl, and then knit across the row. Nice and easy. Now for the next row, we're gonna create some more of those beautiful little starry eyelets. So we're gonna slip that first stitch as if to purl, just like that. And then we're gonna repeat across the row, yarn over, slip, knit, pass, 
knit one. And you just repeat that across. Yarn over, slip, knit, pass, and knit one. Yarn over, slip, knit, pass, knit one. And you just get into a nice rhythm with it. Yarn over, slip, knit, pass, knit one. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over, slip, knit, pass, knit one. And we'll just go ahead and finish with the knit one. And we're already starting to see those little eyelets pop out. For the next three rows, I'm just gonna repeat what I did before. I'm gonna do a slip one and then knit across. Repeating that same thing for that second row. Slip one and knit every stitch. Just creating more of that background so that those little eyelets can pop off. And finally, I'm gonna finish up my demo with a slip and knitting across. And then you're gonna really be able to see how the little eyelets are taking shape and how easy this pattern really is to work. I think you're really going to love it. Knit, knit, and knit. And as you can see, those gorgeous little yarn overs have made beautiful holes that are gonna form gorgeous stars in your night sky. So hopefully this little tutorial shows you how super duper easy this pattern is. If you can work those three stitches, you can totally make this pattern. I'm really excited for you and I cannot wait to see your version. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you're able to find time to sit and knit and to create something beautiful. Have a great one and I will see you soon. Bye bye. I'm in one of those days where I'm like, I feel like I'm being really vibrant right yeah. now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shake it out. Are you <laughs> Help. Our jokes are lame. <laughs> Knit our beautiful new De La Calle shawl pattern. It's what? De La Calle. De La, de, de la Calle. Abbe Nicolas Louis De La Calle. What? <laughs> Nicolas Louis De La Calle. It's French. I don't speak. So. If you're French, tell us the correct way to pronounce Abbe, that. Abbe, Nicolas, Louis. Maybe this is why I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> it would be perfect for a baby blanket or even a lap throw. Can you imagine, like, it would be so cute having a little baby with a star-inspired blanket. Oh. Isn't that cute? Yes, a little twinkling star. And, oh, which has Sorry. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Bye bye. Boom 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 boom